Alrighty, good morning y'all. And I say that sincerely because I'm feeling crazy well rested again. So I went to bed an hour ago, woke up half an hour ago, and now going out for a walk. I'm feeling completely energized. I have slept a total of three or four hours this past 24 hours and I'm feeling more mentally energized than how I was sleeping eight to 10 hours a night. It's insane. It's a world of difference. And here I am in the middle of my campus, nobody around me, just walking around, having a good time because nobody else is out here. When I come across stuff like this, which I have in the past, when I come across certain highly effective topics like polyphasic sleeping, like the carnivore diet, like no fat, meditation, etc. Things like that, that are so wildly effective in helping me, and I don't see many others doing it, there's gotta be an invisible barrier somewhere. I don't know if there's active censoring going on in the media. I would hope not. I don't know if there's some something unconscious in us all making us to avoid such divergent topics. But here I am, living my best life, sleeping less than three hours a day. It is legitimately fascinating to me. As a man of science, when I find completely irrefutable evidence that something works, but that's only anecdotal. And the research itself shows that I'm wrong. I bet, according to 99% of the research out there, my experience right now would be wrong. Simply wrong. I would not be a valid subject in a clinical trial. I'd be an outlier. I'd be completely discounted in everything. Because I'm so gosh darn effective at what I do. It makes me think about my future as a clinical researcher, which is what I'm gravitating towards nowadays, but I guess we'll see where I want to be even five or 10 years from now. But clinical research does, it's interesting to me, to say the least. I want to prove things that I know intuitively now with science. Then I want to use my science know-how by the time I'm that age and of that experience level to prove what I already know, which it's a little tiring, a little annoying, to be honest, that folks really can't just trust me and have faith in me. But it's whatever, it is what it is. I'm here for the long run, I'm not going anywhere, guys. All right, next nap, four hours, going for another 30 minute nap. We'll see how it goes. Keep y'all updated, love you. Alrighty, hey guys, so another good nap, another good one. I took a while to fall asleep, but when I did, I still woke up pretty good rejuvenated. I'm ready to go back at it with the day. So much so that I'm getting a little bored of this continual success. It's day four of me going all in on my 15th attempt at polyphasic sleeping, and frankly, it's easy now. It's not interesting to me to just continue making videos like this to say that everything's still fine and y'all's worries are unbased. It's just getting boring, repetitive even. Polyphasic sleeping is working for me. And because of this, I may not post another video of my Uberman experience because for me, there's nothing really new. The big deal, what comes next is its efficacy when applied to my school schedule because I'm taking a lot of classes this next semester. 21 semester hours in total with about seven or eight distinct classes and I can expect that I'll be busy into the late hours of the night probably doing schoolwork 10 15 hours a day in total that's a life I want to live and polyphasic sleeping is my key to that life but one thing I will mention I don't think it's possible or at least very unlikely to continue with one of my majors if I continue with polyphasic sleeping. So I first got into lifting when I was young, at a very young age, and have continued with it ever since. I recently switched majors from pre-nursing to ex exercise science because of this, but now it's like I'm trading off some recovery for the gym for cognition and general thinking ability, but it's not an equal exchange. 
my recovery goes down like 20 to 40 percent maybe which is notable but my cognition it may increase as i adapt more and more by over 100 percent of productivity if i can produce some amount of schoolwork or other mentally taxing test in one day i may be able to produce twice that much given enough practice and dedication with the time and energy that polyphasic sleeping has given me I keep thinking whatever the case thanks all for watching and happy squatting Alrighty, good evening y'all it is about 11 30 p.m right now and my power went out completely so across the entire campus and because of that you can't see me which i don't mind because it's a little poetic we come from darkness we go back to darkness sleeping and about sleeping i'd say that i'm done with it i'm done adapting to polyphasic sleeping i think it's time to say that i am done adapting i've had a total of four or five naps each day because this may be the last video you guys hear of me about my sleeping I'll keep polyphasic sleeping for as long as I need to, to be honest. And until next time, hope you guys take care. And thanks for joining with me on this short but sweet adventure into the realms of possibility. Alright, have a good night, y'all. Take care.